Well, hello. Good evening. Hello. Today is what? Wednesday, the 9th of December. And hi, y'all. So if you're new, hey, stick around for a while. Subscribe. It's free. My dog's interrupting. And if you've been here before, hey, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to walk this journey with us. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I know you're like, where'd she go? You know, she normally does an update on Monday. Well, I have to tell you. I had a scare and I didn't want to do an update until we knew what was going on. So Monday morning I woke up and I was bleeding, y'all. Like bleeding. We didn't know what was going on. We were like, hold on, we made it to the 13th week and now you want to bleed. So I was like, okay, you know me, Google. I was like, Google says, you know, this and the third, blah, blah. It's common to do it. As long as no clots or anything are coming out. So I was like, okay. So me being the rational person that I am, I said, I'm going to just wait. Even though she's like, no, you need to go to the emergency room. This, that, and the third, blah, blah. I'm like, no. The rational side of me said, wait. So on Tuesday morning, and I told her she went to work Monday night. And I said, if I wake up tomorrow, well, Monday I did it. Like it was, I had a long panty liner on um, or a thin pad. And it was quite a bit of blood on that throughout Monday. But I was like, okay. We'll see what's going on. We just seen the baby Saturday. Baby was looking good. Heartbeat was good. So I couldn't understand. I wasn't cramping, but my stomach wasn't quite feeling right. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on. So on Tuesday morning when I woke up and they were still bleeding, I called my OBGYN. So they were acting like they weren't trying to see me, y'all. It took hella high water for them to tell me to come in. They were like, oh, it's common. It's common. It isn't common when you're 47 years old. You don't went through what you went through. And you did not give me an ultrasound on Friday. So believe me when I tell you I had to move hell and high water to go in there yesterday afternoon to see this baby, which is doing well, y'all. OK, so they, they said it's unexplained bleeding. We don't know why you're bleeding, but we still got a heartbeat of 157 um, and moving around like I don't know what Kung Fu chewing in there. Like literally, as soon as they put the ultrasound on my stomach, baby was kicking. And it's so long now, kicking and punching and everything. But let me tell you the best part of all that. So yesterday morning, well, okay, so Monday night, I called the genetics counselor, the one who did the NIP, and I'm like, I still haven't gotten any results. I'm getting kind of concerned now. What is going on? Now, this is the crazy part. Tuesday morning, she calls me at 8 a.m. Now, they open at 8 a.m. She's like, oh, your paperwork's been sitting on the desk for like a week and a half. They forgot to call you and put it in the system. What? So not only did I find out the baby is Low for everything, low for downs, everything. Bur baby's perfectly healthy. And we found out gender Tuesday morning. So yesterday morning, we did find out the gender. But on top of that, you call me now when I'm bleeding. So now I'm all over the place. Like, oh my God, don't tell me I'm finding this out now. And then I'm going to lose this baby. You know, my brain is everywhere. So that's why... As soon as I got off the phone with her, that's why I was calling my doctor's office. And they're like, no, it's coming. No, you got to get me in here because I got to make sure this baby is okay. Because now it's real, real. Now we know there's nothing wrong with the baby. Now we know the sex of the baby. Now it's real. I'm walking into the second trimester. So I was not feeling what they were saying. But got to see the little peanut yesterday. Everything went amazingly. So, and, and soon as they started the ultrasound, we could tell the sex. Y'all, soon, as she put that ultrasound on my stomach, she said, I normally don't do this because, you know, you're just 13 weeks. However, and I will insert a picture of that ultrasound at the end. However, since you already know the sex because they told you this morning and it's in the computer now, I'm going to see if I can see it. Sure enough. Me and her were like, Wow. Now, I know y'all on pins and needles because y'all want to know. We've been on pins and needles for how many weeks? It's been crazy. And literally, we were going to do the update video yesterday, but just still on that emotional roller coaster from everything that was going on. And I was going to make, make you guys wait to do the big official gender reveal, but you guys have been waiting along with me for so long. But I will show you this, that... We did get the gender reveal box. So I am going to still do a gender reveal that has all your... Oh, look at me spilling stuff. It has... <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got this off of Amazon, too. But it has all, like, your party favorites, your little curtains that you hang. 
and the little pieces that pop out the balloon when you pop the balloon and have different color balloons the baby girl baby boy and the big black balloon that you do pop so i will still be doing a gender reveal because like i said my family doesn't know anything about this and like i said i was gonna make you guys wait until we put everything up and did the gender reveal for my family but we decided to let you guys in because y'all have been waiting and sending y'all blessings and everything with us so we decided we're gonna let you know before we actually do an official gender reveal video because you guys have been riding this out with us y'all been on pins and needles with us and we were actually in shock yesterday. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. We were both like, what? Honestly, both like, what? We were like, well, is it pink or is it blue? I don't know. Is it pink or blue? Babe? I don't know. We don't know. Well, we know, but you guys don't know yet. But I know you want to know. Because we were like, well, let's get some cupcakes and we can decide from the pink or the blue. Whichever one it is. So what's going to happen is, y'all, <laughs> pink or blue, I'm sorry. So we're going to open both of these. And whichever one she takes a bite of is what the sex is. So we got pink. Team pink, everybody. Everybody's team pink and blue. And everybody's team blue. Now remember, yesterday, I'm going to start peeling those. Yesterday. We were in there, heart rate was still 157. Heart rate still high. Um, and when I tell you, we were both in shock, y'all. Both in shock. And before we tell you also, okay, so let me tell you the symptoms that I am having. So my symptoms definitely in my 13th week have gotten better. Not as nauseous no more. Baby still don't like me. Baby still does not like meat. You get this baby something sweet and it's super happy. But you get a meat, not feeling it. So I'm still on the vegetable kick. I'm still on the side kick. I can't eat a hot dog, y'all. <laughs> and I think I can eat ham. Hot ham and cheese from Hardee's. I don't even like hot dogs, y'all. I don't. But that's about all the baby you eat. So, Like I said, I eat all the meats for you. She eat everything, I eat don't you see look at her getting chubby chubs that's my baby getting chubby chubs but let me show you my little i don't know my bump blow i don't know what the heck you want to call it but baby coleman is clearly coming in and making an appearance so the moment you all have been waiting for since we got that all out the way like i said baby coleman is healthy um Heartbeat still really good, even with the bleeding. Like I said, they said it's unexplained. I thought something else might have been going on. But like I said, no clots, no anything like that. So baby Coleman is definitely still doing well. So now, drum roll. <laughs> the other Mrs. Coleman is gonna tell you, is it pink or is it blue, y'all? So what is it, babe? She don't know. I'm waiting to see. <laughs> They're mad because they wanted cupcakes, y'all. We had to lock them to the back because we brought the cupcakes out. And it's crazy because that dog, I know which dog, just answered. Yes. And it's the gender. The dog that just barked is the one that answered the question. The dog that just barked is the gender of what the baby is. Because remember, we got a girl and a boy dog. So, is it pink or is it blue? Pink, blue. <laughs> y'all we are having a boy and we are actually happy we're not disappointed we do not have gender disappointment yes i'm still team pink and happy but i'm just so happy after that that bleeding scare we don't care y'all we're just happy we finally made it to this point oh i get some blue look she just want me to shut up <laughs> it's good oh it's actually good y'all we you know oh you know that was crazy we went to the bakery to get pink and blue um, cupcakes because we're going to use these same things when we do our gender reveal. And we thought we were going to have to get them specially made. Y'all, why were they already made and already sitting there? Pink and blue. So I was like, well, it was meant for us to film this because we went in there and they were there. So we were like, perfect. So anyway, yes, baby Coleman is a boy. 
And we are okay with that, y'all. So I don't want nobody to think that we are upset. We're just happy because he got all five fingers. Or ten, I should say. But five and five mm -hmm. from what we saw. Toes can't see they too little, but hopefully. Zip, low for downs, loans for um low for everything else. Healthy, healthy, high heartbeat. So we are extremely ecstatic because we made it to this point. So maybe I'll do it again. Maybe we'll be doing this journey again, but next time we're testing embryos to get a girl, but and maybe not. We are just happy. To, we're over excited. We knew there was a 50-50 chance. We could have been team pink all we want, but it was in God's hands on what we were going to get. So, Like I said, when I seen that extra leg. Oh my God, y'all. So like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a picture of his ultrasound. The doctor was even like, wow, for 13 weeks. There's no denying it. The boy is hung. <laughs> but I think, honestly, y'all, that is why the x-ray or that ultrasound technician on Saturday blurred out the picture. Because the week before, we could kind of see that maybe there was a penis there when the lady said the legs was crossed. But we weren't quite sure. No, yeah, she she couldn't see nothing. But on Saturday, when we went, she kept everything to the top of the baby because I think she could already see. What was there? Because you got to remember, we had that ultrasound done Saturday. We just had another ultrasound done Tuesday. And when I tell you, wait till you see now. I know he's going to hate me later in life. But he be like, you put all my goodies on YouTube. But <laughs> he got goodies, y'all. <laughs> like, woo. So we are excited. I want you guys to know we're excited. Um, We even did a registry. And that's so crazy because... Like I said, I've been wanting to shop and this and the third. So for all of y'all who wanted to know, we did do an Amazon registry. It's under Indigo Coleman if you want to happen to look in there. Not soliciting anything, just saying we did do a registry. Um, Because Amazon got some cute stuff, which we were really shocked. Because we were like, what? So it was for family and friends once we do make the announcement. Because that announcement, will that video will go out to them next week. So literally, that's why we got the cupcakes now. Because tomorrow we're probably going to film the gender reveal um, portion for their video because now we can let them know what it is by doing official gender reveal for the family so it can go into the video. So um, then we can let them know, hey, you know, we got a uh, baby registry at Amazon. So, you know, y'all. But yes, we are excited. Team Coleman is about to be team three. So, you know, well, that's, well, that's right. That's all right. Because the girls were outnumbering the boys. It's me, her, the female dog. Dioji was the only one that was a boy. So, he didn't need a brother. So, we were all good with it. We already had our names picked out. We already knew. We had girl name picked out. We already had a boy name picked out. So, we were on board with whatever. So, baby's ready. We're ready for baby to come. Uh, I'm getting really excited now. Believe it or not, I think I got super excited when I found out. I think... It became really real to me that I'm really about to be a mom when I found out what it was. I think it was the anticipation of wanting to know and knowing that he's healthy, knowing he's high, low risk for anything. So anyway, y'all, this is supposed to be a quick little video. I'm glad you decided to stop and see it. I'm glad you got to know what the gender was with us. So you guys have a great rest of your evening. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your feedback. And please, y'all, continue to play for this little peanut because... He, yes, he is a mess. And he is in there kicking my butt. And the ultrasound technician even said that. She said, ooh, girl, in a couple weeks, he about to be, well, he was in there. I wish I could have had my camera in there at the time. But like I said, yet again, like two weeks ago when they didn't get the heartbeat because they were at the wrong place and then did the ultrasound. This time, honestly, y'all, I didn't think they were going to find a heartbeat. And I just did not want to have my video going to film that bad news i just wasn't gonna do it i was so scared so i'm not gonna lie to you about that i was petrified going in there thinking that they weren't gonna find a heartbeat but they did he yes he baby boy coleman he is doing well and we're excited we're super 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 excited y'all so once again you have a good evening thank you for sticking around enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll talk to you soon bye bye, -bye.